Hi. This is the second of a little sequence of videos about the different marks adjustment processes in slightly more detail. Remember that the whole aim of the exercise is to compare people's performance in a number of different contexts, such as the school they go to, the exam paper that they've had, and the course that they're studying. And so we're looking at this middle one in this uh, video, which is standardization. As I said in the other video, this just compensates and adjusts depending on whether you've struck a tough exam paper or an easier exam paper. Now, the WACE exams go through a very rigorous process of construction. They're put together by very experienced teachers and educators. They're checked and double checked and triple checked um, to make sure that they're um, able to produce a, a certain range of marks and a certain average mark. And the average mark that we're aiming to get is round about the 60 mark uh, and a certain kind of spread of marks as well so that we can tell people apart. And most of them get incredibly close to that. But occasionally you might get a particular exam that's a bit tougher than normal. And so everyone in the state finds that a little bit more difficult. And so the average mark that comes out of that exam will be a bit lower than expected. And on the flip side, you might get an exam that's actually quite generous and easy, an easy kind of paper. And so everyone in the state does a bit better than expected. And so the average result from that exam will be a bit higher than anticipated. Because we've got to actually add all of this stuff together, what we need to do is to put these results all on the same scale. And that's why we standardise them. What the standardisation process does is just even up the range of marks that come out of a particular um, exam and that then affects the course combined marks to make sure that they all sit round about the 60 mark and have a similar kind of spread, uh, a range of marks with them as well. If you find that at the end of the year, a particular exam that you do is really tough and it's really tough for everyone in the state, then the standardisation process actually compensates for that. Remember all of these processes are so that we can end up with scaled scores to put together to form your tertiary entrance aggregate and calculate your ATAR.